mean? You actually expect me to forgive you for running a supernatural school in our town and not telling any of the people whose lives it destroyed, including my daughter. It's a lot, <laughs> yeah. But I'm here to make peace for both of our sakes. Once again, your application is denied. I don't care about this stupid little coin that you keep talking about, Dr. Saltzman. My daughter was eaten by a giant spider. In my defense, I was only learning about the existence of monsters at the time of Dana's consumption. But let's talk about you. I didn't even know that you had died. I have a broken heart and lung cancer. Uh. How are you not in hell? Well, because technically hell was a creation of a psychic named Cade and it's since been destroyed. Oh, I beg to differ. This is hell. Why do you even bother apologizing if you clearly don't think you've done anything wrong? She's got a point. Not helping, Landon. Miss Lillian, you're being kind of hypocritical, don't you think? What is that supposed to mean? You are trapped in limbo because you are one of the two most miserable people to ever walk the face of the earth, and the other is your daughter. So you've never met yours? Lizzie's got nothing to do with this. Oh, that is the first thing that you've said that I actually agree with. As erratic and intolerable as I find Elizabeth, I forgive her. She's only screwed up because you're her father. Uh-uh. You being stuck here with all your regrets is exactly what you deserve. Hey, Stad. Which way did you say that boat was? Uh, it's just back the way we came. Out of my way, creep. Who are you taking our side for? I thought we were on the same team. We are. I'll go find someone else you can apologize to. We're never getting out of here. Oh, on the contrary. I believe I know exactly who you need to talk to. 